What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Pro Winston. Wait, let me say that again. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Pro Winston here. Well, part two to Blake's The Lotus video. What's good, Blake? How you doing? I'm all right, Jarrell. How you been? I'm good. I'm good. Um, If the world would end today, you yeah. needed to get this information out to all the subscribers that would have been here watching it while the world was ending. Mm-hmm. All right. I will not be conducting this interview with you, though. I'm going to bring out Pro Hustle Man. All right. Pro Most Hustle of the world Man. knows Hustle Man's been on my channel. There he goes. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Pro <laughs> Hustle Man. Doing a cameo Sweat. on my man Pro Winston's video. Listen, don't holler at me for taking his intro, but I don't have one of my own yet. What's good, Blake? How you been, man? I'm good, my man Blake, Blake, Bleedy Blake, a.k.a. The Lotus. I love that name, The Lotus. <laughs> it is one of my favorite Channel 5 Saturday, 3 o'clock in the afternoon karate movies known as Fist of the White Lotus. So, my man, listen, I understand that um, you had a victory recently. Yeah, a little bit. Something like that. I understand that. that the brother that you beat is uh, actually no longer undefeated. Mm -hmm. But you got the W anyhow. Yeah. And I also know that, you know, again, you know, you were defending your friend, and that's good, and I respect that. And the fact that you could play was a really big factor because, you know, it would be a shame to open your mouth and then take an L and then, you know, everybody making videos against you. But I'm glad yeah. that you won. Lazar's my homie. Lazar's is real cool with me. But I just had a few questions I wanted to ask you. Regarding all right, all the questions that was so, left on the video. There was a bunch of questions that were copied, pasted, emailed, text, sent by Carrier Pigeon over here to the Boogie Down Bronx. And I just wanted to ask a few of these questions to you. So right. let's get started. First of all, Gateway. Key card in the deck. Yeah. You took out the golden nugget of the deck and got the W. Please explain yeah. the reasons behind that. That's like taking out Soldier. That's like taking out uh, Yada for the Yada Lock. You just took out the gateway that makes you go pliggity, pliggity plus. Please tell me why you did that. Um, It's because that's the only way he would play me. Uh, I kind of, I understand why. What? I mean, Wait a minute. Pause. Did you just say that was the only way he would play you? Yeah, well, he said um, that I would just sack him with uh, Gateway if I drew it. And um, me being a confident sand player, I was like, I don't need Gateway to beat you. And I was like, I was like I'll take it out right now. And so he was like, oh, you'll take it out? And then that's when he was like, all right, then we'll do this. Because, I mean, I, I don't believe it would have happened if I hadn't taken out Gateway. If I was just like in his face, like telling him this and that, we wouldn't have dueled. So, I mean, um, the card is broke enough to take out. Like, I, I honestly don't blame him because, like, after afterwards, I put the card back in. I drew it, and I made God hands. I made Barking on B, Sheehan, Landyoice, and Anishi first turn with five cards in hand, like, all by opening up gateways. I don't blame him for taking out the card. I mean, it was it was worth it. So, wait a minute. Correct me if I'm wrong here. Yeah. Are you telling me that you had to downgrade your deck to beat the YCS champion who just went undefeated? Are you that good? No, no, no. I don't I don't feel like it was even a downgrade. I just feel like I, I think it made it fair because I mean, like regardless of whether he could open up Rabbit, like I still have I feel like I could still maneuver around it. Like Gateway is is basically a win condition. I don't think opening up rabbit is a win condition. So I mean, if I eliminate the easiest win condition and then I play on his terms, then I can be that common duelist that comes and be like, hey, let's play. Even if it is, even if we weren't playing for honor, or I wasn't playing for my friends, uh, whatever. Like if I was like, hey, I'll do this. I'll take this out, and we'll be even, so we can play, so I can test my skill. I feel like that's fair. So I'm not saying I'm better than them. I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying like. It was it was valid because I would have probably asked you the same thing. You know that that's very very interesting to me. 
and you didn't even bother to ask him to to at least match your gateway with one rabbit? No, because I mean, I feel like if you're if you're a good sand player, like you don't need that card. When I rarely draw it, when I do draw it, it's the nuts. But I mean, the deck. It's just good because it's good. It's not good because of Gateway. Gateway is just a plus when you draw it. That's why it's at one. Oh, okay. So, okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, tell me something. Do you think he probably um removed the gates from around his house? He's a champion, but he got limitations, right? Well, not everybody got the limitations. <laughs> I mean. Well, tell me something. Um. What card, I don't know, I don't know if I should ask you this, but I'll ask you and I'll leave the decision up to you to answer. What card did you put in? Um, I put in Mystical Double A Sword Tech. What, what was that? Mystical Elf? D no, uh, I, I can't, I, I don't know, you broke up, but I said I put in Double A Sword Technique. And it was just because I, was, I didn't have a third Magatama in my binder. It wasn't like I was thinking about what to put in. Oh, it's going to be broke. I just put a card in. Wow, wow. Yeah. I, I started it out. So I didn't really draw it, so I just started it out. It's kind of slow. Oh, okay. I mean, because you were just, like, super confident, man. So I figured maybe you were just going to throw in a Mystical Elf or a or Buster Blade or something. Nah, just, nah. just for kicks. No, nah, well, well, the card is, I mean, it's really good. So, I mean, I, I, needed, I needed a better card to, I needed a better card to, uh, to put in, so... I mean, I feel like that's validated. Mm. Well, yeah, you got to forgive me because I'm still a little juiced up about it. I've been watching this video for a couple of days now, and um, and I saw that it was just a really, really good game in my own eyes. But it's just now with this new information, with you taking out Gateway, and the reason you took it out is because he asked. That's just kind of really throwing me for a loop. But mm -hmm. brothers in New York want to know, um, when you're coming to the Big Apple? Um, if y'all ever have a, a jump out there, man, I'll try my hardest to come out there. But as long as y'all promise me I ain't going to get shot or nothing. You know? <laughs> you know what? You know what? You know how Texas is. You in Texas, bro. Come on now. You in a bush state. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but y'all got the real thugs out there, yeah, man. Well, you know, know, you know how, oh, man. You, okay, okay, okay. Politics aside, but listen, you know Philly's coming up. We definitely want to see yeah. you in Philly. Most definitely. Yeah, I'm... I'm trying to get a sponsor out there. So I'm, I'm most likely not going to be at Chicago, but I'm hoping I'll be at Philly. So I hope that I see y'all guys up there. You know, definitely I'm, be a Nets. I'm I'm curious about um, your friend. I really don't recall his name, um, but I'm, John, cur I'm, I'm curious. Why didn't he play? Uh, that's his kind of duty. Is he's kind of more passive. He like okay. as are most of my friends. So okay. I mean. I, and I knew he wasn't. I knew he wasn't gonna like stand up for himself. Like that's what most people don't like in that situation. That's why I knew. I was like, I'm not okay with this. It's been going on for too long. Like, okay. you you get you see somebody get walked over so many times before you feel obligated to say something about it. You know? Okay. Well, can your friend play? Yeah, he can. He can throw down. Okay. So I mean, like he he probably wants to play him too. But I mean, I don't. I I feel. I understand where players come from when they say, oh, well, why should he have to play this person? Why shouldn't he have to play this person? Um, like, because he's just a common player. But, I mean, who are you to dare not to challenge somebody who's at the top of their game, you know? I mean, yeah. it, 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 regardless of whether or not they answer or accept your challenge, there's a way to not accept the challenge. So, I mean, if he wants to play him, then that's fine, and. And I, I'm not saying that John has to take out this and take out that, or Nazar has to take out this and take out that. But I mean, if they want to play, they they want to play. But I mean, John can definitely defend himself. Okay. Wait, I have a question. Actually, I'm sorry. I have a question. What's up, dude? See, cause I I thought this video was gonna be a two part video, like this whole segment with you, Blake one and Blake two. But I think I'm gonna have to make this into a part three, cause there's too much things. <laughs> That keeps on coming. My one question <laughs> to you is, was you scared when you lost game two? <laughs> oh. Wait, 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 wait. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to save it for Blake, the Lotus Part 3. Deuces. <laughs> All right, man.